You ever just be sitting down and in the back of your mind, you be thinking about some rapper from like years ago you haven't heard from from a long time. And you be like, hold on, I, how are they doing right now? A lot of times these motherfuckers have fell off and other times they just not around. Y'all remember that motherfucker Slim Jesus? If you don't know who the hell I'm talking about, um, this kid, this dude might ring a bell. Look at this dude. Yeah. Basically, in 2015, you had this regular ass suburban white kid working at like a grocery store, probably Walmart or some shit. Bro drops one song in the middle of the prime Chirac drill wave. Random ass kid from Ohio get like millions of views on his first music video because everybody calling him like Caillou and shit. <laughs> Caillou Eminem. <laughs> yeah, some people believing that he was actually real. I'm sorry, Puff Daddy? Oh my fucking no. He was going around doing concerts, just doing interviews with and taking pictures with rappers and shit. But DJ Vlad, of course, DJ Vlad out of all people, invites him for an interview. He says yes, yeah. goes in, and then snitches on himself completely, and then just fell the fuck off. I fuck with savages. You a fuck boy? You can't hang. You can find me posted up on Frank Block with my fucking gang, bro. What the fuck is Frank Block? Frank? Frank Sinatra? Who the fuck is Frank? I got loud pack. I got school buses. Motherfucker, you're 18. You were on a school bus last year. School. <laughs> no, hold on a second. Hold on. This is the real, this is the real genius page. The only school bus Slim Jesus has is the one for his crew behind him because all the guys behind him are underage. <laughs> But yeah, after this interview, he kind of started being treated as a joke. Support real hip hop, bitch. Now, in hindsight, not only he said that shit on a song, but in the video, he was toting guns, had random ass dudes in the background. Who are these people? Who are these people? Uh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what are you doing hanging around a bunch of kids? No, all right, no, I'm getting sidetracked. Years later, he has the audacity to get on the Lil Tecca for saying just a couple of lyrics that aren't true. I don't have no straps for nobody. Bro, he only said, I got two twin glasses turning you to a dancer. He said that, and not that much more. I don't think he said anything else, but definitely not as much as you. He never toted guns in his music videos. He never tried collabing with real gangsters. He never tried hanging around Chicago rappers to look like a gangster. You cannot be serious comparing yourself to Lil Tecca. Lil Tecca wasn't trying to play into a gangster image like you were. Like, really? Are you fucking, are you serious? Are you dumb? Okay, finally, enough about that dumbass. Fuck him. Now, the next person I'm gonna be talking about Hood actually Ridge, showed him Ridge, earlier Ridge, in this video. His Ridge, name's Ridge, Ugly Ridge, God. Ridge, Ridge. Now, that name might ring a bell to some of y'all, and basically, okay, he blew up in 2016 when the meme rap wave was all the rage, like when that shit was actually popular, and he blew up, get this, his first song that blew up is called, I Beat My Meat, dead ass, I beat me, that's the song, that's the song, man, like, right here, there it is, the thing is, I think he was going to, like, high school or, like, college, yeah, he was going to school, and one of his coaches saw that shit. Once his coach saw it, he was like, all right, all right, I'll delete it. But then just decided to say, never mind, and dropped it back again. But then that shit just went viral in 2016. Cause like, it was a different time back then. That was back when you could just drop some on SoundCloud and pay someone to make a fucking like promo video for it and have it go viral on YouTube. In the music video, Okay, the music video for the song is literally just four random kids dancing outside some sort of like gas station, restaurant, or some 7-Eleven, like just dancing outside. Just four random kids dancing outside a store to this dumbass song. Yeah, and, and it samples the iPhone ringtone. I'm still gonna beat my meat. I beat my meat. I beat my meat. I'm not joking, but yeah, it didn't stop there. He would blow up for other songs such as Water, Fuck Ugly Guy, Boom, and some others. He, he wasn't just a one hit wonder, but I will say Water was a much bigger song by a long shot compared to everything else he put out as it peaked at number 80 on the Hot 100. He actually used to have hype ass shows. Water, 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 water
He dropped a project back in 2017 called The Booty Tape. Yes, The Booty Tape. Yeah, yeah, he was so unserious with everything. After this point, he would still collab with other rappers on songs, but eventually people were waiting for his next project to drop. And then it just never came until like 2019. Yeah, it was called B, Bumps and Bruises. It didn't really do so well. I think it sold like 14,000 copies. But then like after that, it was kind of like near rate, almost like radio silence from this guy with maybe an occasional Instagram live here and there. But like other than that, like nothing. But for a while, there would barely be any updates. And if there were, not that many people saw them. But eventually, in 2023, a shocking video was making the rounds on the internet accusing ugly guy of killing someone, like shoot someone, yeah. And what's crazy is that it's connected to this news report, this video, this article of a very real situation. And there's this picture floating around that says the legal name of ugly god or at least his old one according to the accuser now interestingly enough if you look at older sources you will find that ugly god's old name was the one that matches the police report and okay now we don't really have that much evidence for this being true but the fact that it's been a year and ugly god has said nothing literally nothing ugly god hasn't said a damn thing an allegation is one thing but not saying anything is that that's even worse you're making it even worse you're like ssg kobe if any of y'all know who that is but back to what i'm saying saying nothing doesn't help your case like jesus like the majority of people had last heard from him six to seven years ago at this point the most recent thing they hear about him is ugly god shot someone they're like what the fuck yes the same dude that went from making funny meme songs on the internet said Amazon boss that same dude is now wrapped up in this controversy and he said nothing he has said nothing Okay, now this last one. Oh my God, Mario Judah. <laughs> Bro was everywhere in 2020. Like in the middle of quarantine, he was everywhere. I will say though, at first he was actually a pretty good rapper. He was even leaning into his own like unique sound. After success with songs such as Die Very Rough and Mr. Rage Remix, they're actually now that remix that remix got so popular that he met with trippy red himself and there's a video of that mario judah <laughs> rock star yeah, yeah! <laughs> and everyone thought that him and trippy red were going to be on the same song but that never happened instead of mario judah playboy cardi was on the song with trippy red but still, Mario Judah had a lot of clout still, and he was, okay, he was such a big Playboy Cardi fanboy. Like, before a whole lot of red drop, he was on Instagram Live saying, well, this. All right, bro, Playboy Cardi, drop a whole lot of red, bro. You have one week. If you don't drop it, I'm dropping it for you. Drop it before December 6th. Saying that basically he was going to make his own whole lot of red or quote unquote drop it for him and then he just he just imitated okay all it was it was just a, it was just a four song ep four or five song ep where he just did a cardi impression for like 10 minutes or so people did kind of like it everyone knew it was a parody though but then when playboy cardi actually did drop whole lot of red it kind of made him look dumb <laughs> now later in his career or basically a year <laughs> yeah at this point in his career when he tried applying to be an xxl freshman they looked at his accolades they looked at what he did in his career what he's known for is yeah that die very rough song but half of what he's known for is just gimmicks and bullshit in the look where i'm at a dungeon that's where the dead bodies go the whole lot of red thing so double xl 
did not accept him. He was not on the WXL freshman list. So he was desperate for any way, literally any way to get clout. He pretended the Chris Brown his girlfriend on IG Live. Bro, what the fuck did you do? What the fuck? You got too much going on, bro. What the fuck did you do? But he didn't show anything. Nothing really happened, but he just put his phone to the ground. But that was all fake. After a while, he just didn't do anything. Said nothing. Was He literally said nothing. Not a single public statement. Not even, There wasn't even an appearance. There weren't any new photos of this dude. Pe People were genuinely asking, where, where the, the fuck, fuck is Mario, Mario Judah? Judah? That was his producer tag, but people were genuinely asking that. Eventually, he did come back with a snippet, and in a video, he had some crazy ass hair, but he never dropped. He never dropped anything. He just did a snippet. Oh yeah, somewhere along the way, Mario had signed to a label, but got a very bad deal. Like apparently he only got like $50,000. What makes this even worse is that he couldn't even drop. That's why he was lashing out and doing all this random ass shit, I think. I'm pretty sure he got shelved by the label and he wasn't able to drop that often. But yeah, Mario Judah, it was kind of like a mix of the label shelving him and so many other things happening and him lashing out or just him doing publicity stunts, being desperate for attention. But eventually, Mario Judah would just kind of fall off the face of the earth. Jesus. Um, and I guess that's the video. <laughs> this is the first time I've kind of done one of these. Like, especially like this long. Um, Bye-bye.